I'd like to have, make a massive toast to the beautiful bride, the beautiful groom. I wish them all the best in the future. I wish them all the happiness. I'm blessed and humbled. Josiah, you my one of my best friends from since I can remember myself. You met a lovely lady, Josiah and Emily. Ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. This morning, the morning of the wedding, I was actually really calm. For anyone that knows me, they know I'm such a stress head, but I was really calm, a bit nervous, a bit excited. But it was just, it feels like a dream, and even now, it doesn't feel real. See, I'm a man that don't believe in much, but I'd be damned if I don't believe in us. just want to say that I wish Emily and Josiah a happy life together. Happy marriage. Welcome, Emily, into the family. We love you. This morning felt good. A little bit of nerves. When I wanted to be anticipated, but I wanted to be sure exactly how I would be feeling, how much nerves I would be having. A lot of people were saying they're going to be really nervous. But surprisingly, I was okay. I was okay. But I felt good. I felt good. One of the boys turned up reasonably late, close to cut-off time, so to speak, half drunk, but it is what it is. It's the experience, so it was a good experience. Yeah, I felt good. Everyone was buzzing. The girls are work of art, and I can't help but stare, with a smile like the sunset, and the ocean is a hair. What she do I fair? Does she know me better? When I went to have my hair done, I just wanted to have a glass of champagne, really, by then. I want to say how beautiful my bride looks as well. And thanks for accepting my proposal a few years back in Vegas. I just want to thank Josiah and I want to welcome him in, into my family. He's now my new son. I've got two of them now. And I wel want to welcome Josiah's family into my family as well. He's got lots of cousins and sisters and aunties and everyone. You're all very welcome. I would like to take this time just to welcome Mrs. Hunt, yes, into our family. And I would like to take this time to have this warm spiritual embrace with your family. And once again, may the Lord bless you all and keep you all strong. And when times get rough and tough, May your love for one another be so serene that any problems that come, your love will overcome any problem.
Um, the first thing I'd like to do is there's a, a member of the family that's sadly not, not with us today. Yeah, and if he was here today, he'd most likely either be doing my job or at least be a member of the usher or something. But he would definitely be involved and he'll be as shocked and as surprised as me. So can I have a massive round of applause for Earl Hunt? I want to thank John and Em for um, um, making today a very special day. A lot, a lot of work um, went into today and um, behind the scenes, and it's not gone unrecognized, so to speak. Okay. Um, Yeah, when I went down to the foyer and to meet the guest meet and greet, I think by then any nerves that I did have at that point had kind of disappeared. Um, <laughs> I think it was the fact that my my good Usher Courtney turning up half cut, so to speak, had put my ease, my nerves at ease. So I was, everyone was like, are you okay? You okay? Are you feeling them? I was like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. There was no nerves at that point. I was, I was, I was clean, so to speak. I was good. Yeah. Thank everybody that have arrived here today from far and near. It's been a wonderful occasion. All along I believed I would find you. Time has brought your heart to me. I have loved you for a thousand years. I love you for a thousand Thank all the, the ushers and the bridesmaids for doing all your lovely work today as well. It's much appreciated. Yeah, I want to thank my mum. Um, you know, you mean the word to me. You know, to be honest, you've been there for like for the, for the campaign. Anytime, any hardship, you're the first one that I turn to, and you know, you, you, you got me in the right direction. Maybe a man, the man that I am today. No family is perfect, and I'm not perfect myself. But I really appreciate, appreciate, should I say, you being here today and, and making an effort. You know, I would say I take after you in a lot of ways. I'm, my mum might not agree with me there, but it, it is what it is, as it says. You know. The bride and the groom, their parents, they brought up these children. They brought us here today. Mother Althea, Ellis, and John, thank you for having these beautiful children so we can all celebrate their life together now. The doors open and everybody turns around to see you walk down the aisle in your pretty white gown. Holding your daddy's arm, your tears begin to fall, and both of our lives about to change forever. The ceremony is a funny one. Everybody 
I remember most of it. Some of it's a bit of a blur. But it was a little bit of a wait. So, yeah, you, you kept me waiting a bit too long, Emily. One of my, my best man, Garvin, he was like our... When the music's played and the, the flower girls came down and then the bridesmaids, he's like, don't look around, don't look around. And I always said I wasn't going to look. <clears throat> and then he was like, yeah, she looks beautiful. And then I looked and I was like... When I saw Josiah, I don't know, it was just amazing and he started crying and we had a little bet to see if he was going to cry or not and he did and it was so sweet. <laughs> Take it from me please now. From a wedding ring. I hope it's everything you wanted. Call upon. Four persons here present. All persons here present. To witness that I. To witness that Jos I, Josiah, do the hunt. Accept. Accept. Emily. Jane from Mr. Cleos. As my lawful wife. As my lawful wife. To love and to share with you. To love and to share with you. As from this day. As from this day. Moments of joy and sorrow. Moments of joy and sorrow. More joy. Wealth and poverty. Wealth and poverty. Happiness and sadness. Happiness and sadness. Throughout our life. Throughout our life. Until death to separate us. Until death to separate us. As the tears roll down your cheek I call upon All persons here present All persons here present To witness that I To witness that I Emily Jane Semester Playoffs Accept Accept Josiah Judah Hunt As my lawful husband As my lawful husband To love and to share with you To love and to share with you As from this day As from this day Moments of joy and sorrow. Mo moments of joy and sorrow. Wealth and poverty. Wealth and poverty. Happiness and sadness. Happiness and sadness. Throughout our life. Throughout our life. Until death to separate us. Until death to separate us. When I was walking down the aisle, honestly, it didn't feel real at all. And it was perfect. Everything has been perfect today. Does he know you were meant for me? Happiness in marriage is not just something that happens by itself. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is being able to forgive and forget. It is never going to sleep angry. It is standing together facing the world. It is not looking for perfection in each other. It is remembering to say I love you every day. Yeah, she looked amazing. No, I, was, I was happy, really happy. It was like a, a fairy tale in that sense. When I turned around and saw her, it was like, wow, she looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. Yes, from this moment, I pronounce you husband and wife. Make his surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage is just the garden gate. Along the path there will be weeds and flowers. Pull the weeds, cherish the flowers. Success in marriage does not come just through finding the right partner, but through being the right partner. Emily, Josiah, it's such a pleasure to be at your wedding. We're so happy. We love you. We just wish you a lovely, long life together from Uncle Leo and Nina. We love you. Okay, 6th of September 2013. And we're in. Portoras? At the Park Hotel. At the wedding of Josiah and Emily, our, our daughter and our new son in law. And we'd like to wish them. A very happy marriage. A very happy marriage. That's a good thing to wish them. And we just hope we have uh, 
lots and lots of grandchildren, do we? Well, not too many. Because we need babysitters after that. Thank you very much. Over and out from us. We're going back to the dance floor. Bye. What can I say? Congratulations to Pepsi and Emily. I'm really, really hurt right now. And it's all thanks to you and your father and your family for supplying such great food and alcohol. I ain't going to lie, the first time I've cried in a little while, a little speech, Pepsi when you shed the tear, I was like, wow, touched me in the dread, dread of his speech and, you know, father's love for his son, but I'm just going to say, I wish you all the best, all the happiness, you know I mean, it's a long journey, stay tight, love one another, you know, if things get hard, you know I mean, just go to the fridge, get some pita bread and hummus, look in each other's eyes and say I love you and everything should be alright. You know what I mean? Like, but enough love to you and Emily and your family and your dad's a top man. Emily, your dad's a top man. You know what I mean? He's produced a fine woman and your mother as well. So you lot do your thing. Wish you all the happiness and peace out. Sayonara. Say Demi is that I love her um, more than words can describe. Um, seeing her come down the aisle today was something amazing, something that words in itself couldn't describe. It was like looking around and seeing you was like its own little fairy tale, and yeah, you looked amazing like, amazing, yeah, crazy. I want to thank my beautiful bride, you know. You've been by my side through thick and thin. I would say I'm a strong man, but with you there, you make me even stronger. Um, whenever I feel down, I wouldn't say it too often, but when I do, you're always there to pick me up, tell me things are going to be okay, and I'm worth more than what I might think I am, you know? So, as my mum would say, I'm a little heartbeat. You're my little heartbeat as well. What I do, always is for you I might not show my love as much as you might think I should but that's how I work you know when I don't talk things are good you know, when I do talk then you know things ain't good <laughs> so <laughs> don't, don't, don't get angry at me when I'm like when I'm always quiet basically there's a saying that goes the lady that asks for everything gets nothing a lady that asks for nothing gets everything. Today is not just a marriage of Emily and Josiah, it's a marriage of many cultures. We have Irish. English, we have Caribbean, we have Greek, we have everything. When she was just a girl, she expected the world. Once again, Josiah and Emily, Mr. and Mrs. Hunt. Yeah, it's a joy to have you as my daughter, Emily, and Josiah, a wonderful son. And all I can say, no matter what I keep telling you, in life, life is full of ups and downs. So when it's up, remember to give Jah the praise. And when it's down, even praise him more. Because he's the one that will be there for you in time of need and in times of despair. Because life is a wonderful thing. And the journey that we've been on, we've come all the way to Cyprus. So it's a beautiful island, beautiful people, and everybody's had a beautiful day. I know you've had your honey, you're going to have your honeymoon and you're going to do great things together. So all I can say, just enjoy your lives together. 
love one another look after one another and ja willing raise a family together may your future be bright and great ja rastafari bless Hi Josiah and Emily, just to wish you all the happiness in the world, love you both, want you to make a success of your marriage, love each other, understand and be there for each other, okay? Mummy's always there for both of you, that's all I have to say, I love you both, bye bye. Next thing I want to do, can everyone stand up please? Can everyone stand up? There's no reason for this. I'm just saying this because I've got the mic. You can sit down now. The power of the mic is a strong thing. Now pull down your pants, baby. Josiah. Marvin. Theo. Barry. Here in Cyprus. Loving it. Loving it even more. Here. Relaxing. Enjoying the big wedding, you know? We have brought beautiful children into this world and out of this family they say when one gets married you lose a son and you lose a daughter but at the end of the day we both gain the family. Yeah my speech, I was, I was nervous more so for my speech when it came but I think I did it justice. I didn't really plan anything. I was just talking from the heart, so to speak. So yeah, it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. Today's been a special day. It's not over yet, but don't cry because it's over. Smile because it's happened. I love you. I had difficulties writing this speech. And I've had John the dad kind of saying, hey Garvin, this speech, you know, uh, you're not gonna say anything disrespectful to my daughter right? because uh, we got relatives. This is, this is my country, bitch. This was this morning. I didn't even have breakfast yet. I was sitting reminding my own business. Oh, hi, how you doing? This is how your speech is gonna go. I thought bollocks to that, I'm gonna do my own thing. Yeah. I got a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. Hello, Emily. I really enjoyed today, darling, and you were beautiful. And your dress is absolutely lovely. I haven't seen one like it in a long time. And I do hope that you and your husband are going to be very, very happy for the rest of your life. Bye-bye, darling. I love you. Up at the reception, everyone's partying right now, getting drunk, it's amazing. So anyway, my name's Garvin, I'm the best man, and this is Leon. So how did that go, yeah, Leon? Congrats. Shut up, man, you rabbit on too much. Uh, no, no, pass the mic here, because you talk too much. I hope you guys have a good future together. Oh, God bless yeah. you all. <laughs> God, 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 God bless you all. I just want to say to Josiah and Emily. Hang on, hang on. Hey, hey, Let hey. me introduce you because you lot just talk too much.
the speeches were good. Um, my best man gave a good speech. Kind of killed me a little bit as well, but that was good. Good bit of banter. When I come to this country and I first started going to school, the first per- my first friend in school was Mr. Bailey. In blue class, I remember sitting next to him because he was the only other black person in the class. The other person that lived 12 doors away from me was Mr. Josiah Hunt. The first time I met him, and it's pretty much carried on throughout his life, he was naked with his pants down. The reason I picked Simon and Jill Hack and James for videos, the tree, this beautiful tree, it's just so magical. The arch, which I've actually been to when I was a little girl, taking pictures on that arch, it was just something else. Shia, I love you so much and you're my little baby and you got me for the rest of your life now and you can't get rid of me. <laughs> but I love you so much. Don't put them ask you your name, yeah? You have to say Emily Hunt with an E. If you forget that E, it's not the same. So you have to hold your head up high. And when you hear the Hunt name, and you, you tell people what your name is, you know, head up high, I'm proud. But I know Josiah will tell you that already, so it's all love, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. My time, Josiah. Congratulations. That's all I've got to say. You stole my pizza in Ibiza. I don't like you. You see this right now? You got led astray by some him over there. You can't see him, but he's next. And you stole my pizza, and I want my money back. My euros, my fake euros, my money back. I'm watching you. All right. I got you. Finish. I've had enough.